We in Shanghai. Getting worse. Good morning, good morning, good morning, peeps. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, my name's Lisa. This is the second video, second vlog in my China series. Um, we are in Zhang Ho. Probably pronounce that incorrectly. I'll put the name right here on the screen. We arrived here via bullet train last night from Xi'an. Yep, I'm almost bullet trained out and we've got a few more to go. Um, Xi'an, why did we go to Xi'an? Well, we went for one main reason, the terracotta warriors, wow. Uh, we started in the morning at the factory And then we went to the main gig, which was the archaeological area. Woo! Yes, we came, we saw the Terracotta Warriors. Anyway, we have a free day here in Jianghao. Um, we have decided to take the optional tour, which is not included in the package. Um, did I mention we're at day six of the Tripodil tour? Uh, not included. We are doing the Shaolin Kung Fu experience. It costs 550 Chinese dollars. Um, we are heading ourselves down to breakfast. The room that I'm sitting in, it's not worth a mention. It's very basic. We're here for two nights, last night, tonight, um, but let's go. So daily breakfast is included in our 12 day tour package. Each hotel does offer some sort of variety and while it may be a buffet style, it is mostly Chinese cuisine. And about day three or four, you might be getting a little Chinese out and just craving something a little fresh, like a bit of fruit and maybe some cereal. So we are traveling around in this beast today and uh, we are located up there. So we have traveled about an hour uh, by luxury bus. Uh, we have arrived in Shaolin. We have stopped at one of the schools here. There's about 21 schools that teach Kung Fu. There's about 150,000 students. So it just felt like we'd had breakfast given it was only about an hour and a half's drive. And if we weren't already Chinese out for breakfast, we are having another lunch, a Chinese feast. This of course was included in the tour. They polished it off nicely. So we have made it to a Shaolin temple, the origin of Kung Fu. This is the highlight of the day. Let's go.
しい。为蝎子城的独特风格。是呢，就请大家先欣赏到这里。Okay, peeps. I thought I would just touch base, give you an update on this tour. Probably isn't what I was expecting it to be. Um, apart from the kung fu experience, yeah, for 550 Chinese money, we've had a lunch. We come to the Shailin Temple. We're now in the temple, but it's pretty boring so far um, this little thing here it's the earpiece every time you uh, do a tour you have to buy this this is an extra 20 Chinese dollars that you have to pay on top of the tour um, it is useful when you're listening to the guide um, but anyway we will keep going because we got to follow the triple deal of blue flag let's go so the Shaolin Temple, we actually had some free time so I took myself for a leisurely stroll around the temple. It was most impressive, it was rich in historical architecture, it felt also rich in an authentic cultural vibe, yes, Buddhism. gardens I'm not sure if it's obvious but it's a cemetery we were told that these are stupas erected to enshrine the remains of deceased monks who had significant achievements during their lifetime the bigger the stupa the higher the achievements that they held this one here is the oldest one and it dates back to 600 AD so as our day comes to an end we've done a lot of walking to get here so catching a lift back to the entrance was a good idea was included in our tour package so if you're there not doing a tour it might cost you a few dollars hey there peeps back where i started this morning um there's a couple of hours of light so we are going to head ourselves out the room mm, it's been made but still not worthy of showing you guys anyway uh, the Kung Fu Shaolin Temple experience, not quite what I was expecting. Lunch was probably a waste of time, probably a little bit of a kickback. Because um, obviously we just had breakfast, drove an hour and a half, and then we had lunch. So, waste of time. Um, the Shaolin Temple, pretty good. Um, there was the Kung Fu experience. Um, that was pretty good. The old little boys doing their little wee kung fu exercises, their little wee display. 
um, and then we went through the temple. Um, it wasn't quite what I was expecting because literally it was just follow the Trippadil flag the whole time. You were just rushed, 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 rushed. You couldn't snap photos, you couldn't snap nothing, you couldn't do nothing pretty much. It was just follow him all the way. Um, we got to the end and we did see the graveyard. There was these, um, I, I won't say they're um, graves because, hang on, let me go. There was the oldest one, they're called stupids. They are called stupids where the monks are buried. We did check out the oldest one, um, which was uh, has been there since 600 AD. So as I said, we've got a couple of hours of daylight. We're heading out, so let's go. There's a whole lot of traffic, green light here. We assume that those are the lights that we can uh, cross the crossing, but we shall see. <laughs> Okay, so I still don't know where this is. It's about a short 10 minute walk from our hotel where we're staying at the Aloft Zeng Hao. It's a Sunday and it's nice to see the locals doing their thing. The kids were having a bit of a blast and we stumbled across a market to end out the night. Good morning, good morning, good morning peeps. It is another day here. We are at the Zhang Hao Museum. If I pronounce it wrong, I'll put the name on the screen here. Um, we are popping ourselves around this place. We've got about an hour and a half here, checking out, scoping out this museum. Geez, I have been crook for the last few days and today is just getting worse. Uh, whilst I don't want to overshare. Okay, so I'm not going to overshare. It's day seven here in China. The museum is just a fill in before we pop ourselves by bullet train to our next city. Good morning, everyone. It is another day here, and I am no longer in Zhang Ho. I am in Shuzhou. I probably pronounced that wrong. I will link it here after the museum yesterday all we did is we took a bullet train to here arrived last night and we are out and about so let's go Next up is the optional activity, the Grand Canal Cruise. It costs 220 Chinese dollars.
So after our 25 minute canal cruise, we had some free time to explore. We were then taken to the silk factory. No, I did not make a purchase. And then we were headed to the next city. Okay, it's day nine. We're in Hangzhou. Hangzhou is known as the tea capital of China. We're in a tea village, so let's go. So we had some rain today, so there was no time for any outdoors. We didn't go and see the tea fields but we were there for one of those kickbacks, you know, where they try to sell you things, and we're gonna start off with a tea presentation. Let's, uh, welcome to our tea village. Nice to meet you. Yeah, So the sales pitch did emphasize the health benefits. We did get a tea tasting and while I do like a good cuppa, unfortunately the emperor tea wasn't quite up to my usual standard, the deal with that is. So as we leave the tea village, we pop in for a one hour boat ride on the West Lake. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's included in the itinerary, but if you take yourself to the VIP area, it will cost you 50 Chinese dollars. You can use the $50 towards any drink. We got a coffee. It wasn't any good, but the area was nice, not crowded, and we got our own private balcony. As we made our way to our last city of the tour, we made a pit stop for a bite to eat. It was just a service stop with a range of food options. There were some unique, authentic Chinese dishes. There was a queue for the Chinese pancake. Look, my stomach wasn't up for it. I'm all Chinese out, so I gave food a miss. It looks pretty healthy. Yeah, it's so as we check into our last hotel, which happens to be in Shanghai, I thought I'd give you an accommodation update. The tour offers four-star accommodation and the full 10-night tour, including flights, was only $1,800. And really, it was a bargain overall. Comfortable beds, some had views, showers and all, baths and some, and even one had a hot spring. So I'll rate the accommodation A-OK, -okay, given we weren't in backpackers, link in description. And our day is not done. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the era and the intersection of time, Chinese acrobatic show.
10 here. It's our last day. We're in Shanghai. We're popping around downtown. We're popping to the market, so let's go. This place is huge, alright? Uh, we just passed by like probably like one-fifth of it. Okay, so this is the market. So many stores with all sorts of bargains. You know, the designer brand knockoffs that you can get at a cheap price. Shoes, clothing, electronics, bags, jewellery, you name it. I'm not a shopper, I'm just a fridge magnet collector. So it wasn't my vibe, so moving right along. So something a little my vibe, we headed ourselves to Yu Yong Garden slash shopping mall. So the half day tour, we replaced the museum for the shopping, but this place was included. As we end out the tour here in China, we have one more stop on the itinerary. vlog uh, started here this morning this is Shanghai 10 days intrepidial vlog number two done and dusted started in Beijing ended up here in Shanghai 10 extra long hectic days a lot of sickness on the bus but we are done and dusted peeps as usual if you have liked my video give me a like and a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will spot you in the next vlog foo yeah peeps